Namaskar and welcome to my uh, channel. In this video, I have covered the derivative data as on April 17th of all the participants based on their open interest. To shuru karte index futures ke sang aur aaj jo infosys aur fir HDFC bank ke results ka impact kya hua market pe aur kaise kaun se participant ne kya move dikhaya. So starting with the index futures, we can see that the FII after a gap of more than 10 days today did long unwinding and some fresh shots also out here. And uh, they've taken their shots to 36,120 now. The ratio on last Thursday was 1.5. 1 for 1 1.5, that's gone up marginally. What small portion say upar gaya to 1.7 Three. So, this is understood that they have done a long time in the long time. And after the Infosys result reaction, the profit booking of fresh shots is quite practical in this stage. Domestic institutions covering and nominal long unwinding. And this covering is the domestic institution. April series का होगा इसको कल देखेंगे हम कि ये वापस वापस शॉट होता है तो हम सोचेंगे इसको ये रोल ओवर टेक्निक चल रहा है उनका उधर वो कल कंफर्म होगा उस बात पे प्रॉप डेस्क जो मैं पहले भी बोल चुका हूँ कि ये लोग जो एफआईआई करते हैं उसका कॉपी पेस्ट होता है सो हियर अगेन वी सी दैट कि प्रॉप डेस्क इज fresh shot. So they are back to net shot now, the prop desk. Clients, nothing surprising at all from the clients right throughout the rally from 17,000, uh, more from 17,200 till 17,800 on, we saw them reducing longs, adding fresh shots. And on the first decline of 200 points odd, they have gone fresh long and covered shots partly also. So maybe this uh, bulk of this short covering uh, which we see today must be the STVT done on Thursday. But overall, it's a very natural phenomena for clients to uh, mostly trade against the prevailing trade. That's why the SEBI report says that only 1% make money in trading out there. So coming back, uh, to the index futures, we can see that there was round about uh, equal in shorting going by the lot size from the FIR desk across that segment. Now let's look at index calls and puts. The FIR desk has increased their ratio from, sorry, reduced their ratio. In fact, it's getting a slightly better from 1.38 now to 1.33. Slightly better, very slightly better. There is no difference. And here we can see that it is almost equal in almost equivalent quantity. There is no very much difference nahi hai, either. Bhi, difference nahi hai. So FIIs tend to do calendar spreads. So we can say that this is probably could be a possibility that this is long in series. Mein long ho rahe, either monthly and this is April expiry ka short ho raha either unka is case mein apna wo cost recovery kar rahe us trade ke hisab se which i could be wrong also in my reading but all data is almost matching you know long versus short not too much of a difference happening out there then the prop desk now remember on thursday close the props were bullish they didn't have a huge short setup in the calls and they were quite short on the put side. So they were bullish in the market. Today, the prop desk has gone sideways. They've added more shots in the puts and also a huge quantity now of call shorted. So they are, they are neutral for this particular expiry. It appears to be like that. But here also, I'm just guessing it. I'm speculating. I may be wrong, but it looks like a bulk of the prop desk trade is two calls long 
versus three calls short and out here it's three puts long versus four puts short so spreads being formed like that by a quite a large number of prop days that's why a ratio probably is coming out like this from their end out here now look at the clients on uh, Thursday closing, they were heavily short on the call side. Heavily short, equally short they were on the put side. They have booked profit and now gone mildly bearish on the call side. Small quantity now, small quantity. And they have also covered a large part of the put short because it could have hurt them today there. So this, But they still hold the put short out there. So net on net, we can see that what the props were doing on Thursday and the clients were doing on Thursday, they have exchanged their views over one trading session. So net net, it's like a prop desk is neutral, hai, expiry, ko leke, clients are bullish in the market. Ko leke. Stock futures. Now we know today Infosys reaction and how all the IT stocks took a battering today that a lot of other stocks also have taken a good hit today and uh, I'll be sharing the link where I've shown how a large number of stocks today 14 from the uh, nifty 50 and overall around 18 to 9, 19 stocks from the derivative segment have made an open equal to high and so we see a lot of fresh shots from the FIIs today out here with some longs also so Stock specific longs still going on from them out here. Domestic institutions also doing that. Heavily shorting, that's a probably hedge for their longs. And this out there, law, nominal law buying from the FIs. Prop desk in the stocks, they don't match their view with the FIIs. Here they have gone long quite heavily with small, with a, a less than similar quantity shot from that that side out there while the clients clients heavily long this is a huge quantity added with small shots added so again right throughout the rally we saw them reduce their net longs by 20 lakhs and on the first opportunity they have added 20,000 back on a decline out here now looking at the Stock calls and puts, ye dekhe, ek dam almost one is to one lag raha Or either bhi one is to one ka scene lag raha hai pura ek dam. Uh, ki ye jo uh, scenario bana hai, unka wo bahut zyada nahi hai, to wo spreads kar raha hai. Wo bhi ho sakta hai ki wo uh, could be monthly calendar ban raha hai. Uh, in buying May, shorting April, kyunki bas art session baaki hai. Is settlement में. but look at the domestic institutions smartly selling calls now that they are they are the perfect players of theta decay they know exactly when to get into that picture they will look at that figure now how much money they will likely make profits in this now another the most interesting on the op stock option data today comes from the prop desk look at this figure of shorting which has taken place today, 55,000 quantity short versus 15,000 quantity long out here. It's almost one is to one in the put side from them, but this is massive shorting. And today, uh, from the data, which is easily available to everybody, large quantity of uh, CEOI addition took place in IT stocks and some in Nestle, which is not very liquid. Apart from that, Bharti, Airtel also saw a CEO addition in the decline. So uh, interesting to see whether this was a prop desk move of heavy shorting of CE in this uh, particular day. Or uh, we'll come to know in the coming days which stocks have been uh, where upside seems to be capped for the expiry. Clients, on the other hand, Gone bullish again. We can see double quantity, one lakh ten thousand long, fifty five thousand only short out here, and uh, almost same to same on the put side from them. One is to one out here. 
for tomorrow that is april 18th support for nifty comes in at 17650 agar wo crack ho jata hai to 17600 uske niche ek acha support hai bahut crucial hai wo 17600 filhal kal ke liye resistance 17710 jo aaj ka last 15 minutes ke taraf ka trade hua tha wo ek resistance hai if it manages to sustain above that then the next one is 17765 if it manages to sustain above 765 17765 then it gets really strong after that then today's fall will be like a one off condition in the market is what i can see bank nifty mein support aata hai 42000 par aur uske niche 41750 kal ke liye resistance 41 uh, 42600 which is the uh, just around the open equal to high of today in bank nifty and above that if it manages to sustain above it 43000 with that i end this video i hope you liked it and then and please don't forget to share and subscribe to the channel bye bye